This is the Airlander 10 from Hybrid Air Vehicles. It's a design for a huge new type of zero emissions aircraft that would slowly carry up to 100 passengers through the skies in a more scenic way of travelling short distances of around 450 miles. Now I know what you're thinking, this looks like an airship and other than the Goodyear blimp there's only really one other famous airship. The inexplicable appalling tragedy is a matter of seconds. But we've come a long way in the past century, so are blimps about to make a comeback? Well, maybe one day, but right now, it's not quite there yet. So as always, we're going to look at where hybrid air vehicles is right now, where the company wants to be, and then examine what it needs to do to get there. But let's start with where they want to be. The privately funded company is developing two aircraft, the Airlander 10, which is set to come out first, and then the larger Airlander 50. Airlander 10 would be capable of spending five days in the air and would be powered by hydrogen fuel cells to eliminate emissions. Depending on the configuration of the aircraft, the maximum range would be around 4,000 nautical miles. That's slightly further than the distance from Miami to London. But the company told me that Airlander would mainly be used as an eco-friendly way to travel between cities. For example, the company says that Airlander 10 could carry 100 passengers from Seattle to Vancouver in four and a quarter hours, as opposed to the roughly three hours it takes for the total journey time by plane. And to explain what the company means by total journey time, here's CEO Tom Grundy. Think about that journey on a regional jet, the time you spend in the air is pretty limited. It's the time getting to the airport, it's getting through security, it's getting to the gate. These dominate your journey time. So with Airlander, we're opening up point-to-point -point services away from the airport, closer to the city centre, where that getting on board is a lot easier and quicker. The company has its sights set on delivering its aircraft from 2026 onwards, and has signed a deal with Spanish airline Air Nostrum for 10 aircraft to be delivered in the same year. So if that's where hybrid air vehicles want to be, where are they right now? Well, the company has developed a prototype aircraft, which it's used to conduct a string of test flights that have helped inform the future design of the aircraft. It was during one of those test flights that the aircraft had an unexpected impact with the ground. The reason that you're taking the risk is to expand the envelope of the aeroplane and learn what it can do. I asked Tom what the difference was between Airlander and a conventional airship, and he told me that while the Hindenburg was filled with flammable hydrogen, Airlander would be filled with helium, which is inert. Airlander is also designed to drift back down to the ground whenever the engines stop, so it won't suddenly float away. We only use enough of that helium just to not quite lift the empty weight of the aeroplane. The whole shape of the aeroplane is shaped like a big wing. The company has, for now, concluded its flight testing and is focused on getting type certification later this year. It's also looking to build out its production headquarters in the north of England. So if they've flown a test vehicle, signed a deal with an airline, and they're on the way to certification, why is this technology not quite there yet? Well, let's start with that zero emission flying ambition. See, while hybrid air vehicles have ambitions to power their aircraft using hydrogen fuel cells, for now, they're still using regular fuel to power the engines. Though Tom did tell me that their aerodynamic design and buoyancy still resulted in 75% less CO2 emissions compared to an aircraft, even when using kerosene. There's also a question mark around where these vehicles will take off and land, as if they're operating outside of airports, new terminals will need to be built. And then there's perception. After all, 36 people died in the Hindenburg disaster, and that's why it remains one of the most famous airships. Yes, I think everybody looks to anchor their view of what our product is on, on something that they know. It won't surprise you know people often talk to us about the 1930s. So for hybrid air vehicles zero emission airlander to become a reality, the company is going to have to get their aircraft certified, build out their production capacity, develop those new hydrogen fuel cell engines, build out takeoff and landing terminals, and then convince everyone that their aircraft is safe. If they can do that, then maybe we'll be seeing far more blimps in our skies.